Hey everyone, welcome back to user control tutorial in WPF. Um, we are going to continue where we left off from our last tutorial. Um, as I mentioned in our last tutorial, we are going to add a button to our address user control and uh, work with the uh, click event. Okay, having said that, let's get started. So, we're going to actually first let me run this, to make sure everything still works. Okay, so last in last tutorial, I think we did data binding. So when we select one of these um, people here, the address, the billing and shipping address shows up in the uh, address user control that we created. Okay, so that was that. And so we are going to continue with adding a new button to our user control. Let's go ahead and center our user control. And I'm going to add a new, I think, uh, row for the button. So let's add our new row definition. Okay, we can add our button right here. Or maybe right below the uh, text box here. Let's collapse these rows and let's go ahead and add a new button here. So, button, and let's get a name. Let's call this BTN address. And let's get a content. Say, uh, click me. doesn't make all of a lot of sense but uh, we're just testing okay um, then let's close this out for now actually I want to put this right here right below here so it's going to be grid that column one and grid that row it's going to be zero one two three or four I think four Okay, so we got our button here, and let's run this once. Okay, so we got our button, nicely sized based on our user control. Okay, uh, right now nothing happens we click the button nothing happens okay so to add an event handler we can do what we normally do so we can say click and add a new click handler click event handler and go to definition and I can simply say uh, message box test is fine we can get rid of the error okay so when we click the button it's going to display a message box that says test okay let's run this right, let's click the first one we got test let's click the second one and we got test displayed. Okay, so the click event is working as it's supposed to. So that's one way of doing it. We can do this another way, which is to add a router event handler here. So public uh, event router event handler, and let's call this click. Okay, so in here we're going to uh, say add um, name of our button, which is but btn address dot um, let's see add handler, and then in prints we are going to say button base. Okay, 
to base. Let's see. I'm not getting any intelligence here. Let's add that primitive namespace button base dot click event and we'll pass in the value. I think that's that. And then we are going to say remove and we just basically copy and paste the same thing here. Okay. And now with that we can call the click event from our main window. Okay. Right here we can say click and we'll get the click event handler. Okay, so um, let's see, let's add a click event. Actually, you know what? Let me, um, let me comment that out for a second. I'm going to comment this out, build it. And let's see if I get the click event now. No, I got nothing, right? So the click event disappeared. I'm going to re-enable that. I mean, uncomment it. Whoopsie, where is it? Okay, right here. I'm going to uncomment that code and go back to our main window and try the click event. Now the click event shows. Okay, I'm going to double click, say add new, new event handler and go to definition. So now my event handler is in my code behind file here in the main window xaml.cs. Now if I say message box, I'm gonna just say test from main window. Okay, and get rid of this part here. Okay, if I try this, run it. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna click this. So this one still works. The first one we did. The second one, it works. Now we've got two event handlers. So the first one that comes from the uh, my address control, this guy here. That was the first event handler and then we have the other one from the main window so now actually if i remove the first event handler from here if i get rid of this and run this again now this one shouldn't work which doesn't this one should still work and the only event handler that we have is in the code behind main from main window Okay, so now this, whichever user control, we assign the click event right here, um, actually from our main window. This guy we assign the click event handler, and this guy we haven't. So now if I go ahead and add another one here, and we can either have use the same event handler or separate event handler. Okay, so I can go here, go to code defin definition, and copy and paste this. And I can say for the, what was that, shipping or billing? So this one was shipping. Okay, test from uh, main window for shipping. Okay, this one we can say for billing. Okay, now we have two separate event handlers for each of the buttons, each of the user controls. Okay, you get the picture. You can do separate stuff with separate buttons or separate user controls. Okay, so we got billing and we got shipping. Okay, I think this is going to be a, a short tutorial since we are just covering the button click event handler um, I think that's it as far as user controls goes 
Um, unless you have any questions, feel free to drop in the comment section. I'll, I'll try to get to them as soon as I can, okay? Thanks for tuning in. Until the next one, take it easy.